Today we're going to do a bit of a chainsaw comparison. We've got the steel MS170, we've got the Makita DUC4055, and then we've got the steel MS231. The reason that we've got these chainsaws is because with this electric chainsaw, it's meant to have the same power as this one, but it's got the same size cutter bar as this fella. So the steel MS170 and the Makita DUC405, they both come with the same size chain. You get a genuine steel chain here with the semi chisel cut. Over here with the Makita, it comes with an Oregon chain and it's an anti kickback chain. So it's meant to be a bit safer to use, but it means that it cuts a bit slower. Then if we come over here to the steel MS231 with the 16 inch cutter bar, the same as the Makita, you can see it comes with a lot heavier duty chain. It's a lot thicker and a lot bigger teeth on it. So you'd expect the Makita without having a two stroke engine in it would be the lightest, but actually it's a little bit heavier than this one and a little bit lighter than this one. Preparing the steel MS231. So I've got a mixture of 50 to 1 two-stroke oil in here. And this is the cutter bar oil. Ready to go. The Makita DUC 405. Even though it's electric, we still need the, the cutter bar oil to keep the chain lubricated while we're using it. Starting the MS-231 for the first time of the day. You've got to hold the throttle on. You, with your thumb, you fully choke it, and then I'm gonna pull the cord until I hear it make a noise that's like roar. And then we're gonna get a half choke, and then she should start. Now, half choke so we don't flood the engine. Makita DUC 405. There's a button here on the top. Push the button. Ready to go. So even though this is an electric chainsaw, it still makes quite a bit of noise. It's got a warning on it that makes 94 decibels. So I reckon you still wear earmuffs while you're using it. This is a rosewood tree. This is the kind of wood we use for fence posts and for rails because it's an Australian hardwood and so it's not going to rot and it's going to last a long time. Let's see if the Makita chainsaw has got the power to cut down a tree like this.
chancellor was very capable of cutting down this side of the tree but in the last tiny bit of the cut as the tree was falling down i don't even know why but the, the chain came off the chain came off the cutter bar this has never happened to me before with my steel chainsaws ms 170 You hear that? You stop there and you go to half choke, otherwise you'll flood him. Half choke. I bought this one for $250. This one retails at $529 just for the bare tool. But if you want the two 5 amp hour batteries and the double charger, it's going to cost you $769. And I bought this one complete for $800. So one thing that's a bit annoying with the Makita chainsaw is as soon as you let your hand go, it turns off. So if you want to go sore again, you've got to push the button again for two seconds to make it start. So yeah, over time, you probably get used to that, but I'm used to working with the steel saws where once you get them started, they just stay idling. So yeah, that's just something else I'm going to have to get used to.
I think these are all great chainsaws to own. They've all got their pros and cons. And which one's going to be the right one for you is going to depend a lot on your situation. With the steel MS170, it's cheap to buy. $250. It's not very heavy. My girlfriend actually uses this one. I bought it for her. And if I'm going to be doing some fine work, like cutting out a yard rail or cutting out a joggle in a fence post, this is the one that I'd be going to. Makita DUC 405. It's a bit expensive at 529 if you've already got the batteries on the charger. If you haven't got the batteries on the charger, she's going to cost you 769 so that makes it pretty dear. But the best thing about this one is it's a lot quieter because it's only got a sound pressure rating of 94 compared to 109 and 103. Don't know why that one's 103. They must have changed the, the sound pressure rate and all the way they tested it in the last couple of years because this one's definitely louder than the smaller one. The other great thing about this Makita chainsaw is you don't have to worry about tooth rug fuel. If you live in town, it will save you having to go to the servo, filling up a little drum of, oil, a little drum of fuel, and having to go and buy a little, a little bottle of tooth stroke oil and having to mix it together. All you gotta do is charge the batteries up and clip them in, you're ready to go. The other thing is it's very easy to start because you've just got to push the button. There's no pulling and pulling and pulling. With these steel chainsaws, they're actually pretty good to start. But if you bought a no-name brand chainsaw, we all know what to struggle they can, can be to start. So if I was going to do a bit of chainsawing in town and I didn't want my neighbours to be too pissed off with me, this would be the one I'd pick for sure. Uh, this is the steel MS231. What I actually bought this chainsaw is I needed to go and cut rows of posts. And it's a beauty for that because it's got plenty of power. It's not too heavy. In the shop, they wanted to sell me a bigger one, but when you've got to carry it around all day, I don't think you want one any bigger or heavier than this. It's pretty noisy. If I'm going to use it all day, I have earplugs in and earmuffs over the top to save my ears ringing at night but it is really nice having all that power and being able to rip through a big log with no trouble at all the other good thing is having that bit bigger and bit stronger chain means it stays sharper for that bit longer but if i had neighbors in town that i didn't like this would be the one i use because just imagine this, 6 o'clock in the morning, sun's coming up over the hill. Rah, 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 rah. They're going to hear you for two kilometres. If you think this was a half decent video, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. And that'll give me a bit of encouragement to keep making them.